How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up this edging. So basically this is the my boundary fence with the neighbor's lawn. So if you have a food forest next to a lawn, you'll know it's quite hard to manage um, the lawn from spreading and the weeds from spreading into your um, food forest area, especially if it's next to a boundary because um, you can't go over the other side and, and manage that side. So the solution I've found for this, um, which I'm using, is to use a colour bond edging. So I cut it at around 20 centimetres and then um, you'll smash it in around 10 or 15 centimetres. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop the runners from passing through underneath the fence. Um, so, because if you used say like a, pit, a branch or a piece of log um, it could still send runners underneath the log whereas if you've got it um, about 15 centimeters under the ground it's just going to hit that and it's not going to um, send runners underneath um, the other way to do it is to put a root barrier or a shade type barrier that's going to deter the um, the grass from spreading through so i've also done that if you can see down here um, I've planted um, comfrey, so these are about 20 centimetre spacings. I've got comfrey which is going to beef up and also shade along here. And then if you see behind me here, um, I've planted lucerne which is also going to clump up and form a nice um, shade barrier along that fence. So generally what I do, because my ground is quite compact, is I'll get a pitchfork. Um, you can use a shovel or anything like that. And I'll start by decompressing, um, a decompacting, sorry, the edge here, and that'll make it easier to drive the color bond in. So your next step is you want to cut your um, corrugated iron or color bond. Um, so you generally cut it around 15, 20 centimeters. It doesn't have to be exact. You just want at least 10 centimeters in the ground. Um, I just use scrap color bond um, or corrugated iron. Um, you can usually just, you know, people will be throwing it away. You can find it on um, Gumtree or Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, pretty cheap. You could approach a roofing company and ask them if you could have their scrap um, metal or offer them a little bit of money. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm using. So um, you want a hammer or a mallet or a little sledgehammer. Um, the first thing you want to do is um, remove any debris like your wood chip away because that'll stop the iron going into the ground. And I've found the easiest way is to hit one end in and then hit the other and kind of go back and forth like a saw. So there you go. You do want some of it sticking out of the ground um, because otherwise some of the grass might grow over the top depending how tall the 
grasses um, and then you can just simply push push your wood chip back like that um, the other thing I do is if you have any wire here I have wire here for my ducks um, is I'll pull it onto my side and that will let the neighbor whip a snip against um, the iron and have a nice clean cut rather than whip a snipping against um, the wire And there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, uh, please leave me a like. If you have um, any comments on it, please put them in the um, comment section below. Um, if you have any tips or things you think that um, I could have done better. Um, also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. I'm gonna try and do uh, one video a week this year. That's my goal. Um, I'm going to be focusing mainly on permaculture, um, food forest, um, veggie growing, thing like that. Awesome. All right. See you next time, guys.